<laughs> my first big walk has been 10 days and I just had a hip replacement. Walking too much probably. And I'm feeling pretty good. It's been a rough week, but I'm back to you know, 75%. <laughs> yes, so I don't want to show you my scar, it's revolting. It's still got wrap all over it. I'm going to get the clips out on Tuesday. And yes. But, Have you made an appointment for that? No, I haven't. I'm just, I'm, I want to just see how tender it is before I think. <laughs> I'm Tracy. My husband Nick and I come to France every year to enjoy French life. We search the markets for antiques and treasure for our business in New Zealand. Recently, we have bought a house in the southwest of France that we are renovating. Follow us on our journey as we take you through our weekly adventures. <laughs> We're visiting a um, place in Sylvester Sur Lot called La Stelsia, which is a 23 hectare park and colourful pink chateau. It was created by Philippe Geniste, who's a French billionaire and the founder and owner of Jiffy, which is a French discount chain. Uh, it's a bit like the warehouse in New Zealand. He's one of the wealthiest people in France and also has one of the largest clothing chains here in France called Tati, a budget clothing brand which is very popular amongst the young. Uh, Philippe is a local of the town Sylvester Sulot where the chateau was located. Philippe grew up near the grounds of the 700 year old castle, the former chateau called La Chateau Lalande, which was bought by Philippe in 2011. He had a vision that he wanted all the inhabitants of the region to enjoy the castle, not just the bourgeois. Helped by an architect friend, Jacques Bru, Philippe Geniste has created a unique, bright and joyful project to reimagine this larger estate. Everything has been created around the seven colours of the rainbow. It's very bright. It's a huge hit with children and adults alike. To walk the estate grounds and enjoy its many sculptures and art is free which is fantastic. And there's also three restaurants on the property and three price ranges suitable for all budgets. You can stay in its four-star hotel, which is themed and a bit of fun. Um, there is also a magnificent mini golf course called Fantasia, which you will understand its name once, you, once I take you through its grounds. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. What is that? A sculpture. It's quite nice looking back there too. A giant sculpture. Yep, we'll go round. That's vast, isn't it? Huge grounds. Merci. <laughs> like this <laughs> is an actual tree, yeah. not a sculpture. Well, it is a sculpture as well. And at night, push a little button and all it illuminates.
come to Christmas, this is what you're going to see. Ooh la la. Now we're off to the miniature golf area. The Fantasia is the biggest 18 hole mini golf in Europe. It's an amazing spectacle, boxwood shaped into beautiful creatures, multicolored stone structures and an artificial river, secret passages and an American style hamburger and soda bar if you get hungry, a children's paradise and also for some big kids today. Stunning, especially with those spectacular autumn leaves. It's got a sea monster. <laughs> Where's the sea monster? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> They certainly look after it. <laughs> That's fun. The children must love that. Even the adults. <laughs> We are finally starting to uh, do our walls in our master bedroom. And Nick is having a few problems. See, he's scratching his head. <laughs> he's just taking off the panels at the bottom to put um, wiring for the electricity. And it's solid, so all these panels don't have any cavity at the back. As the wall is um, quite thin in this part. Um... So I can't really um, make a groove in the wall for the cabling. I could do it over there behind the, because it's an outside wall, but um, we might have to have, what do you call that stuff? Conduits? Oh dear. The, right I, the top. I guess oh, you'll make it lovely and we can paint it the same colour mm. as the wall. Or I could route out the back of the... Sounds like a huge, huge wall. job. So as you can see, I've pulled all the furniture out, actually Nick has, I've just taken the bed covers off and um, we'll just leave everything, we'll sort of move things around as we go, cover them up. But this is the wallpaper that we're going to get rid of, it's very faded, I mean I think it, originally it would have been amazing, Nick's just pointed out the um, bit that hasn't faded around the door, you can see it, the difference. And it's got gold flecks in it. And it's quite stunning. Pinks and beautiful blues. But now it's just very faded. And it actually makes this room quite dark. So we're going to do a, a makeover a little bit. We're going to just paint the wall. And then eventually, when we can afford it, we'll get some lovely wallpaper. But for now, that's our job. So what? I think I found something under the wallpaper. Look at that. And it's so hard to... Oh. 
get off because the wallpaper is so fine. But it's just, I think that's, it's only in one place because, you know, everywhere else it's a mess. It's like they, um... Oh, Ooh. it's filthy. They've done uh, testing on the wall. Yes. Because it's very similar to what they've done up there. Oh, around the border. Yeah. It's like a little plan. I'll try around. I'm not sure to rub the wallpaper over it because the wallpaper is coming off. The black's coming off. And I don't know if you can see, but it looks like a portrait of somebody. Maybe, a, maybe one of the artisans or here's his face. His muscular arms. My uncle said that we'd find treasure in the wall, and I think this must be it. <laughs> we tried just to paint over the old wallpaper, but it was a bit bubbly, and there really is quite a few bits of damage that we need to patch up. So we're going to do it properly. And um, then we came across this. Yeah. We could be here for quite a while. <laughs> oh my God. Just a little patch, I think. It's a rest. Oh, look, there's all sorts of pencil marks. Mm. But nothing that exciting. That. Yeah. That's coming off nicely there after the sponge. <laughs> it's like the grid work of the ceiling, maybe. Yeah, maybe it is the ceiling. We should soon find out. The um, centre pattern is quite gritty, so maybe that's. That. Yes. Oh, it's like finding out a map, a secret map. Plans. How exciting! Oh, so easy to dig right down into the plaster. Just, mm. It's just less than a millimetre. Oh, see, so yeah. easy. Yeah. So they they put a paper. Um, what do you call backing? it? Backing. Backing on the plaster, and then. We'll paper on top of that. Oh. Carry on. <laughs> Just peel back this wall. It took me, I think, an hour and a half just to get that far because it's all so glued on. We've found some signatures. Um, so um, I can't quite make them out. I think it says Seville and something like Paul or Pizzell. Ooh. So I'm going to have to really research. It's so faint. It does look like so. Look, it might be an L. Anybody can help out. That would be wonderful. <laughs> but it's so exciting to find actual artisan signatures on the wall. It's just a miracle they're still there and not rubbed off with the. Um, the wallpaper getting peeled off. So yes, it's looking fantastic. So there's another one there. I can't make that out either. But we will get to the bottom of it and get back to you. So you can see it's taken a long time. I'm sure there's other, there's easier ways, but because we're at home and we're here, we've started. Probably got a steamer or something. Yeah, we should have. But we've done quite a lot already. Um, just have to go out to show you the span. So that was where our bed head was. 
or that's where our bed was. And we've got sort of probably nearly over halfway, I'd say. So the next thing is just to paint the walls and then line them with some sort of liner so we can stop um, all these little holes and cracks appearing in the wallpaper at some other stage. We certainly can't afford wallpaper at the moment, so we're just going to paint it a nice colour. Yeah, so we've been at it for three days. But it's exciting because we are going to have a lovely light bedroom. So there is a sketch of a vase. We think that was probably part of the um, design for the outside of the house, which there's only a tiny weeny bit left up here. And we have um, left a little bit of paper on the wall that was underneath the wallpaper. And that was the original design for the top edge of the ceiling but they've just changed the colours. All sorts of doodles. There's a signature down there, I don't know if you saw that. Oh, I didn't. A signature. So hopefully we can sort of try and research these things. Yeah, look at that. Michelangelo, I think. Michelangelo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe his apprentice. found a little landscape there and excitingly we found painted in gold this little portrait of a, um, a woman and we like to think that it is Anne the owner the original owner of the house it's not um, it's probably her age and the fashion at that stage so we're going to say it's Anne This is Nick making my headboard, or our headboard, I should say. <laughs> so what he's done is, um, I've shown him a photograph of what I love on the internet, and he's gone off and bought some plywood, which is quite hard to find here, and a router and a mitre. And now he's cutting out the shape and he's going to paint it. So yeah, we've, we've found it quite difficult. 
to get so I'll, I'll go out so I think it'll be all right. Yoo hoo <laughs> Just wanting to see what you're up to. Making a bed head. Yes you are. I'm My very, new jigsaw. I'm very excited. This is new jigsaw. Very nice. Mmm, it's going to be fantastic. Especially with your little paint job. Just don't the, cut the table in half, please. And this is the headboard that Nick's just painted for us. It's redone. The other one was all marked and we had to pull it off because it was actually on the wall. But this one he's made out of um, chipboard. So he's painted it. We can take it away when we need to wallpaper, which we'll do eventually, but it's so expensive, the one I want. So <laughs> this will do. A few paintings to hang and next... Um, most of the wiring but um <laughs> we need the chandelier the chandelier that we've got is hilarious as you can see it is too small <laughs> but that will come next year i'm sure but for now it's au revoir to paris and then off to home so it'll be really sad to say goodbye, but it'll be lovely to see our friends. I'm slowly backing into the bathroom. And of course, the gorgeous, gorgeous ceiling, which we haven't touched and never will, in the mirror. Stunning, stunning.